And it's time now for some better home. And spring is just around the corner. And you know what that means, folks. It's time to start thinking about some new spring cleaning routines. Erin Chase, the $5 dinner mom and clean fluencer for Allen USA, is with us today to share some tips on how to make spring cleaning a breeze. Welcome to the show, Erin. Glad to have your insight here. And it looks like you're surrounded by a whole lot of stuff. Um, so we'll get to that in a minute. But I guess just first things first, do you have any ideas out there or tips out there for making cleaning jobs a little less daunting? Yes, Taylor, thanks for having me on. I'm so excited to share with you my clean, spring cleaning strategy and routine that's gonna help cut the overwhelm, make it a little less daunting, and it also kind of gives you that place to start, which I think is really important with spring cleaning, and that is to move room by room, cleaning one room at a time, and then in the room, go from top to bottom with your cleaning. And I'll share an example of what that looks like in the kitchen here in just a sec. The other thing I like to do with my cleaning, spring cleaning is to have a caddy ready to go. I actually keep these under my sinks and I have one in the garage and they're, they're, each caddy has the different tools that I need, mm. dusters, sponges, cloths, gloves, as well as my favorite cleaning products. And it's nice to have those right there for the quick cleanups, like you know, toothpaste on the bathroom sink, um, the, the spots on the bathroom faucet that get there. I'll use an Art of Green wipe to quickly clean those up. And then for the spring cleaning and the deeper cleaning, I'll take this caddy with me um, from room to room and it has everything that I need there for my cleaning. So this top to bottom example, let's use the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, the kitchen, there's lots of greasy mess above your stove. So we're gonna start up top. Using Pinal and Original, I'll add two tablespoons to a 32 ounce spray bottle with water. I'll spray the cabinets, the vent hood, the microwave that's above your stovetop, nice and greasy up there. And that's why I like to use the Pinalin because it does a great job of removing the grease and the oil. It's made with five times the real pine oil than other leading brands, which really magnifies its cleaning power. And then I'll also use it on the stovetop, all that cooking grease that's right there. And then I also use it, you know, moving top down to the bottom. The kitchen cabinets get kind of gunky and dirty. I'll use it to wipe those off, as well as like drawer pulls and knobs that are in the kitchen. Well, that's a very good tip right there. And I like the idea of starting top to bottom is there's no use in, in cleaning something down low if you still have something up above you uh, to go. So um, you're mentioning these products right now. I mean, I go to some store shelves still and they're pretty bare. Um, can I get these anywhere? Yes, absolutely. You're going to want to get these products for the other, you know, hard to clean type things that you have in your home. So one of the areas that I don't love to clean, just being honest here, is baseboards. I'm not getting any younger and getting down on my hands and knees to clean them is... Uh, just not something I want to do anymore. So I will use a broom with a microfiber cloth, cloth wrapped over the bristles attached with a couple rubber bands. And then I'll spray Art of Green right onto the broom and just swipe the baseboards. And the Art of Green does a really great job of getting the dirt and any like gunk that gets attracted to your baseboards. I don't know how that happens, but it does. Um, and so the Art of Green does a great job of cleaning that off. And then in the bathrooms, uh, the soap scum actually using fabric softener. You're gonna find fabric softener in your store. Oh, fabric yeah. softener to clean the soap scum. The, you just do four parts water, one part in Sueño Max, mix that up in a, in a bucket or in a spray bottle. And all you need is a sponge and you just have to wipe. You don't have to like scrub at all. The Insuanio Max does a fabulous job of just wiping that soap scum off of your shower doors or your tub and tile um, in your bathroom and your shower and your bathtub. Um, it just is a really fantastic way to get the glass there nice and beautifully clean. And then moving down to the floors, I like to use um, all the way at the bottom. So we've gone top to bottom. On your non-porous floors, you can use chloralin disinfectant bleach, a half a cup in a gallon and a half of water, mix that up, and then you can mop your floors. I'm always amazed at how much dirt the chloralin gets off of my floors, and then they are left both sanitized and sparkly clean. Wow. Aaron Chase, I mean, I love that uh, that fabric softener uh, tip right there. I'd never even heard of such a thing. You truly are a clean fluencer, um, making, making a difference for us all here over at Western Mass News. So thank you very much. Where do our viewers go to get more information as we wrap up? You can find more great information about these products and tips at allenusa.com. All right, Aaron, thank you very much for coming on today. Hope you have a great rest of the day. You're welcome, Taylor. You too.